Hallo und Achtung und willkommen zu Charmin Reviews. Today we have a Charmin Band. Oh, what a surprise! And this is not very known band. It has been there only a few years. But why nobody knows it? The reason is this. Not any big label has signed this band until now. So, fourth album and now the band is breaking thanks to Century Media. Let's take a look at that right, right now. So, uh, here we have uh, an album called, uh, what it is called, uh, Nightmares Rain. As you can see, a nice looking digipack with a pretty peculiar cover. Nice, take a look. And, uh, well, very simple in design, but nice and colorful. A little bit chaotic, giving some full one vibes if you get my drift. So, like I said, this band has been there for years and at least unknown to me previously but now things are changing as the band uh, jumped to a bigger label and let me tell you this ain't no typical century media release but i think they have found a good home after all uh, the band uh, not just you know looks uh, nice with their uh, album you know everything from the design but it also sounds nice well nice is not exactly the right word because the music is actually quite rusty it's raw unpolished uh, like as if you were taking a, a little stroll on a junkyard or you know building that is about to be torn down you know everything is a little bit ridden with filth uh, pieces falling from ceilings you know walls and whatnot they are nails with some of are rusty some are twisted and all that stuff so in essence this is kind of a dirty filthy rusty uh, noisy metal in essence but there's more than that well the basic idea of this uh, album is kind of a death metal let's say 80 percent the rest of the material is kind of a combination of uh, punk trash metal deep beat hardcore and whatnot so it's kind of creating this uh, wonderful primitive beating and the feeling that this is something that should go very barbaric live now the whole album isn't exactly very long it's very easy to just you know go through and give this kind of give yourself this kind of a feral feeling but the downside is it's not exactly the most addictive type of an album it's not the type of album with you know instant hits and groovy riffs and majestic guitar solos and whatnot so while it's kind of a raw rusty feral and all those weird adjectives it's also lacking the kind of uh hookiness it's not just instantly you know going like i'm gonna drag you in my cave kind of a thing it's more like hey maybe we just you know play these riffs for you and maybe you just like it to be honest i'm pretty sure that this album uh, I'm sorry, this band is better live on stage, but that is no, not an excuse not to check this out on album because there is this primitive energy which just is ready to be unleashed. So while this is not a great masterpiece and definitely not one of the better albums uh, this quarter of 2018, it's still kind of a nice in the way of having this uh, little bit different atmosphere and mindset of a typical uh, death metal album especially this kind of a db punkish way of you know just pushing forward with sheer aggression it's something that is kind of attempting to you know just tap it on again and again so give it a chance if you think you are up for some bestial punkish death metal and if you think you're more into polished stuff then this might not be your cup of tea. If that doesn't make any sense, hey, who I am to care. But see you soon, and take care and listen to some good shit. Bye.